Hello, good morning. This is your daily outlook for Tuesday, the 5th of June. The euro climbed against the dollar to 125.42 from 123.85, supported by a rebound in Asian shares and commodities. Hopes for decisive steps by the EU leaders to tackle the eurozone debt crisis supported sentiment ahead of the G7 conference call today. News that France and the European Commission signalled their support towards a solution of the eurozone stricken banks further supported risk appetite. But the single currency is under pressure as investors are worried about a problematic banking sector in the eurozone and a messy Greek exit from the euro. Attention shifts to Germany's factory orders data as well as eurozone retail sale figures. The US dollar strengthened as sentiment in the market improved at the start of the new week. Versus the safe haven Japanese yen, the greenback jumped to 78.46 from 77.98 as investors remain cautious over an intervention by the Bank of Japan in order to weaken the yen. Focus now turns to the Group of Seven Industrialized Nations Conference Call where they will discuss developments in the eurozone. US ISM non-manufacturing is also expected today. The Australian dollar rose against the greenback to 0.9803 from 0.9627 after the Reserve Bank of Australia monetary policy meeting. The RBA cut its main cash rate by 25 basis points, 3.5%, but the move was less aggressive as investors were expecting a 50 basis point cut. The central bank expressed concerns over the debt crisis in Europe and the global economic slowdown, as well as further moderation in growth in China. Looking at commodities, oil edged higher to $84.90 a barrel from $81.19. Gold eased to $1,608.81 an ounce from $1,628.05. And against the euro, it rose to $1,295.30 from $1,309.89. Silver edged lower to $27.89 from $28.62. Now let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar pivot points at 124.40 with a preference to enter into long positions at 124.50. The dollar yen pivot points at 78.40 with a preference to enter into short positions at 78.40. The Aussie dollar pivot points at 0.9690 with a preference to enter into long positions at 0.9690. The sterling dollar pivot points at 154.35 with a preference to enter into short positions at 154.25. And the dollar cap pivot points at 103.60 with a preference to enter into long positions at 103.60. Looking at commodities, the oil pivot point at 82.90 with a preference to enter into long positions at 82.90. The gold pivot points at 1598 with a preference to enter into long positions at 1598. And the silver pivot points at 28 with a preference to enter into long positions at 28. And of course, for more up to date information, please visit us at easy forex.com. And on the calendar, the market movers are the EU retail sales forecast to fall by 0.1%. EU German factory orders forecast to fall by 1%. Canadian Bank of Canada interest rate decision forecast to remain unchanged at 1%. And the US ISM non-manufacturing forecast to come out at 53.5%. Now onto equities. In Europe, we saw the FTSE was down 1.14%. The DAX was down 1.19%. And the CAC was up 0.14%. In the US, the SP500 was down 0.14%. And the Dow was up 0.01%. In Asia, at the time of writing, the Nikkei was up 1.04%. And the Hang Seng was up 1.08%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma and Joe from Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager waiting for you now.